Welcome to this How to Control X Automation video from Bosch Rexroth. In this video, we'll show how to make a connection to an OPC Way server in WebIQ Designer and then import items from it into our process data. To create a connection to an OPC Way server, open the I.O. Manager. Click the Create Entry button and give a name for the connection. Enter the endpoint URL for the server as well as the required user credentials. Select a desired certificate verification mode. Here we choose to trust all certificates. And then click Apply. If the connection fails, open the ControlX Core web server and ensure that the OPC UA server app is installed. And that the smart HMI certificate is trusted. And now we see that we have a good connection to the server. With this done, open the OPC UA browser within the Process Data Manager and browse for the desired OPC UA nodes. Note that nodes may be imported individually by selecting Create Variable. or as a group by selecting Create Child Variables. Here we see that we have imported all variables contained in the HMI var global folder in our PLC application. Note that by default arrays are imported as individual items denoted by .0, .1, and so on. Alternately, arrays of primitive types may be imported manually as follows. First, create an array variable using the bracket plus button. After naming the variable and assigning the type, set the PLC base name to the OPC UA node identifier of the desired tag. The internal browser makes it easy to find the correct string. Next, enter the correct namespace. In our case, most of the tags we are interested in are found in the data layer. Notice that in our OPC UA server, individual array elements are separated with a front slash. Enter a front slash in the index prefix field and leave the index suffix field empty. Enter the array size and set the IO handler to the OPC UA server that we configured previously. After clicking Apply, update the internal database using the Update Items button. As an example, we add a radial gauge to our workspace and use the Ellipsis button to browse our items. And we see that the array elements are now represented using the standard bracket notation. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below.